I grew up in an area called Shinamachi, which is part of the Toshima ward of Tokyo. It is not a busy location, like you would expect in a city like Tokyo, and can be described as a peaceful and quiet location. Nothing in the area seems exceptional, other than the arcade, which is reminiscent of mid-20th century architecture. It is also host to an annual summer festival, which is popular with the local residents. You cannot tell when you visit the location, but Shinamachi was once the setting of one of the nation's most notorious yet mysterious heists. The date was January the 26th, 1948. The incident took place around 3 o'clock at an now defunct Imperial Bank. A man claiming to be from the health department entered the bank announcing there had been an outbreak of Shigeliosis in the area and one of the infected individuals had come to the bank earlier that day. He handed out medicine which he claimed would help suppress the disease until a medical unit from the GHQ could conduct a proper checkup. While some were initially skeptical as they had never heard of this medicine, one by one everyone at the bank eventually drank the medicine which the man had prepared in teacups. After drinking this supposed medicine, the staff and customers developed a sore throat and several minutes later started collapsing. The police did not realize what had happened until later that evening. When they arrived, they found all 16 people poisoned and unca either unconscious or dead. The perpetrator was long gone, having stolen 180,000 yen. Only six survived out of the 16 people present at the bank that day. The police eventually arrested Hirasawa Sadamichi, an artist who fit the physical description of the perpetrator based on the survivor's accounts. He had recently deposited a large sum of money in his bank account close to what was stolen. He refused to confirm the origin of this money. Hirasawa's business card was found on a criminal who committed a similar heist, although Hirasawa himself denied ever meeting the criminal in question and claimed his wallet had been stolen at some point. While well, Hirasawa was eventually convicted and died during his prison sentence, there are many skeptics to this day on the outcome of the trial as much as the evidence used was circumstantial with nothing tying him directly to the crime. Also, the poison used in the crime was a military cyanide rumored to have been developed by the Imperial Japanese Army during the war. This would have made it impossible for someone such as Hirasawa's status to obtain. This has led to several conspiracy theories. It is also interesting to note that during Hirasawa's trial, the only survivor who had gone a clear look at the man's face no, I think that Today, Hirasawa Shinomachi is a calm and quiet place with nothing in the area to inform people of what happened on that day or remember the victims. Thus, learning that such an incident had taken place where I grew up was surprising. But I believe this incident shows how our memories are not perfect recordings and thus eyewitness testimonies are not always reliable. Furthermore, it is important to properly confirm sources of information and not make decisions based on group mentality or act in the heat of the moment. While well, Shinomachi has long since moved on from the incident, it is important to learn from our past so that we can avoid making the same mistakes in our time.